Welcome. My name is George Pearson, and I run the How To Gurus channel here on YouTube. Most of the videos in my channel are short demonstrations of the different tools and techniques you'll find in various software programs. Right now, I have several hundred of these quick videos available on YouTube. This video, though, is different. This is part of a new series of longer demonstrations that I'm doing to show you how to complete complex projects from start to finish using a variety of techniques and tools. All of the images I use in these projects are in the public domain and I've included a link to the pictures in the video description in case you want to work along using the same images. Okay, let's move on to the project. In this Photoshop Elements text project we're going to make these glowing letters and I'll show you how this is done. It's actually a pretty straightforward process but it's a little bit tricky so you have to pay attention on this one. Okay, I'm just going to pull that one out of the way and let's bring up a new file here. Like file, there we go. And we'll do this on this file. And I'll zoom in just a bit. That looks pretty good. Now the first thing we want to have is a nice black background in here. So let's just grab the paint bucket. Your foreground color is probably already black. That's the default color. If it isn't, just go up here to Window and Color Swatches, and you can choose black right there. That will then set that as the foreground color. Okay, so there's our black fill. We now want to take our Type tool, and let's check our Type color. White's pretty good. Won't be keeping it as white. We'll actually be putting a gradient into that, but white is good for right now. And there it is. Now I used a fairly fat typeface. That's this Gil Sands Ultra Bold Regular. Anything with a lot of black in the typeface will work out just fine for this particular demonstration. I just kind of happen to like this particular typeface. That's the one I used. Okay, let's reposition this a bit. I'm going to resize this type, make it a little bit larger, a little easier to see here. That's pretty good. Okay, so there's our basic text layer. Now I'm going to make a copy of this layer and then save this one. So let's take this, drag your type layer up to the new layer button right there. It makes a copy of it. And then just hide that text. This way I can always go back to my text layer later on. And we'll be doing that actually a little bit later in this training. Okay, up here on this type layer, right click where the name is and choose Simplify Layer. That rasterizes the text and converts that into just shapes. So it's just a graphic now on that clear background. We now want to put a gradient inside of this. So let's go over here, grab the gradient tool. Now I already have my gradient set for this dark blue to light blue. Let me just change that and I'll show you how to, you can change this. I'll just choose the red to green down there, which is not what I want but it lets me show you how to, how to change the gradients to whatever gradient that you want to use. Now to edit that, just click on the, the color swatch there. And this brings up the gradient editor. And I want to change the left side here to dark blue and the right side to light blue. These are the two color stops. Just click on the color stop. You can then choose your new color. So click here. And I'll pull this down to get into the nice blue range in here somewhere and I'll choose a real dark blue. Your full saturation is on the right hand side, no saturation on the left hand side. I want full saturation, just dark. So I'll just come over here somewhere. Okay, that's my left side. Let's go to the right side right here. Click on that. There's your color swatch. That's now showing the green that we have here. So click on that. Same thing. I'll put this back up into my blues. And I want a real light blue full saturation, so stay on the right hand side here. Choose OK. So there it is, dark blue to light blue gradient. Choose OK, and there's that gradient. OK, now we want to put the gradient inside of our text. So holding on the control key, click on the little thumbnail up here, and that selects just the text on that layer. Now that we have our gradient, I can hold the shift key down and pull down. That's going to give me a 
straight gradient just like that. So it's dark blue at the top, light blue at the bottom. If you're not happy with that, you can come down, you can make it, you know, even sharper if you want to. Just me a real real short. So there's that. And let's just deselect. So we have our space type in there. Again, dark blue at the top, light blue at the bottom. That's fine. And that's just a standard layer. Now make a copy of this layer. So let's grab that up to your new layer button. There we go. There's a copy. So you have two copies. You'll see why we're doing this in just a minute. Now we get to the tricky stuff. Make a new layer up here, new layer button. And we're going to be filling this with a special fill with our filter up here. Go filter, render, and clouds. And you should get something looking like this. Now what this is, is my foreground color is set to black. My background color is set to white. That's the default foreground background colors. And it's just off the screen right down over here, left-hand side. So make sure that your foreground is black, your background is white. And that will then give you these kind of cloudy things from that filter. Again, that's filter, render, and clouds right there. Okay, so far, so good. Now, we want to put these clouds into our text. I actually want to blend the clouds into the text. So we're going to do that by using one of our blending layers up here, or blending modes rather. So come down, we want to do a color dodge, and that's right down right there. And that puts the clouds into the text. As you can see, there's our clouds and there is that text. We have just kind of a cloudy shape in there. Now, for the real fun part, I'm going to take this layer, we're going to blur this layer out, and that's going to spread those clouds out around our text. So, make sure you're on that top text layer. Filter, Blur, choose the Gaussian Blur. There we go. Now, different settings in here will give you different effects. You know, real small is going to give you very little blurring effect. What you need is actually a pretty large blur. As I pull this to the right side here, you'll see how the blur gets bigger and it then begins to build those clouds in the background. The cloud coloration is based upon the gradient that we had in there. So if you want a real, real sharp gradient like that, use a real short one like I did. If you want a longer gradient, then use a, a longer or a different gradient. You want you kind of have a longer gradient for that. Let me just demonstrate that. I'm going to delete these two layers. And let's get rid of that one. There we go. So we're back on our gradient layer again. Control key, click on your type. That selects the type. Go back to our gradient. It should still be in that same dark blue, light blue. There it is. I'm coming outside this time. Hold the shift key down, come outside, and pull a little bit longer this time. Makes a more subtle gradient. There we go. Not quite so sharp. Deselect that. So we'll see how it looks this time. So just doing different variations on that so you can get the idea of how this whole thing works. So again, the gradient is in your type layer. Duplicate your type layer. There we go. New layer above that. And then render clouds. There's your clouds. We blend those into that top type layer. Color dodge. And then we blur out the top type layer. So click on your top type layer, filter, blur, Gaussian blur, and again a pretty high setting as you can see up here. So let's come to a pretty high setting. And as it blurs that layer out, we see more of those clouds in behind to get kind of that cloudy effect in your text. Now to make the text a little more legible, we can apply some layer effects onto the clean type layer right there. So layer, layer style, style settings. And what I found out works pretty well here is the glow and inner glow and just a little bit of an inner glow like that. There we go. And that gives us kind of a nice light edge on this. Another way to do this would be to do a bevel and actually apply a little bit of a bevel to that. You know, different different approaches. I kind of like the inner glow person. It's a little, little brighter. So we'll go with the inner glow on that, giving us that edge. And there it is. There's those, those glowing letters. Now, let's do something different with this one. 
I'll put all of this. We'll, we'll just hide all of these. And bring our type back up again. And let's change the type and do the whole thing, but do it in reds and yellows instead. And see the difference in the effect. We'll just, just be using different colors, really. Same setup, but different colors. I'll just change this text here. Let's make it say glow this time. There we go. Again, that's why I saved that text there. I can always go back and make new layers from that basic text layer. Same thing. Copy that layer. New layer button. There we go. Let's hide that one. Right click where the where it says you know the name of the layer. Right click. Simplify layer. And there we go. We now can put our gradient into this one. Let's do a different gradient this time. Grab our gradient tool. Click on the gradient. And let's go over here, left hand side, let's make this one a red. I'll come way down to the bottom here, kind of a bright red. On the right hand side, let's make the right hand side a bright yellow. Maybe a little bit of an orange in there, kind of orangey yellow. There we go. So red to kind of an orangey yellow with your oranges in the middle. There's our new gradient, and once again, hold the control key down while clicking on the thumbnail. That selects that text. We're still on the gradient. Hold the shift key down, and then pull a little short gradient just like that. That puts that gradient into that text. There we go, there's the glow gradient. And we can then deselect, and let's make a copy of this layer. There you go, there's our copy. Put a new layer above that. Notice we're doing the exact same steps as we did up here. So new layer. We'll do our clouds in this empty layer. Filter, render, clouds. There they are. Blend these clouds into the text using our blending modes up here and you want the color dodge. There it is, puts those into that type. You need the cloudy effect into the type. Come down to this type layer and then blur this type layer. Filter, blur, Gaussian blur. There's the, the setting that we had already. So I can come in here, you can adjust the amount. That's kind of nice. Choose OK. So real bright glowing kind of stuff in here on that. Now then, come back down to our glow here and you can apply additional layer styles onto your text to make it a little more legible if you want to. So layer, layer style, style settings. There's our bevel and emboss this time. So you can see there's that bevel and emboss. You kind of see the upper edges a little bit in there and a little bit of darkening on the, on the bottom edges and OK. And there we go. There is that glowing effect in here by using this kind of fancy trick. Okay, so that's basically how it's done. Let me just show you some things that you know, will happen if you move things around. It's kind of fun sometimes. If I take this, pull this underneath, so that the blurred out is behind the text, notice how the text is a lot easier to read now. I'm actually move that underneath instead of putting it on top. That also blends this into my text as well. If I move this layer underneath my text, Notice how now the blending of the clouds is only going into the blurred out word in the background. So we have a clean type layer and then kind of the cloudy stuff in the background. Based on the same techniques, it just has a different look to it. And the reason is that we're blending the clouds only into what's underneath of that, which is the blurred out text. And the this is above that. So you can do those kind of little fun tricks as well. You can even do different things. If you want to just take those out and I'll, I'll bring these up. So I now have the, the blur that we made with the blue coloration. And again, the same clouds. And that is giving that blue in there. So we have the blue clouds in the background. And then our orange coloration letter down below. So you can kind of mix and match these as well for some really 
interesting different effects. So there we go. That's how to make that glowing text look. Thank you for watching this special Photoshop photography project video. Don't forget to subscribe so that you will get first notice of new project videos in the future. Just click on this link right here where it says subscribe here. You can get all 12 project videos in this series along with 26 special videos demonstrating the tools and techniques that I used in these projects by clicking on this link right down here. And then thank you again for watching this training video.